Welcome back, Katerina. What happened? I heard that you booked an appointment for today on a very short notice. Yes, unfortunately, I was walking my dog and he pulled way too hard and started running after another dog. And I fell, the most horrific fall on my knee. And I think I also cracked my ankle. Did you hear a pop or a crack when you fell? I did. Okay. And your left knee and foot. Okay. How about yeah. the right one? Did you hurt the right one? Just a little. And I think I also cracked a toe. And when did this happen? Yesterday. Yesterday. When you fell, did you hurt anywhere else on your body? Um, my head hurts a little. You're I think right. I bumped my head, to be honest. What did you hit it on? Um, cement. Oh, okay. That can lead to a concussion. Did you have any blurred vision or double vision right after the fall? Yes, unfortunately. Both of your eyes are just one? Both. Both of them, okay. Can you point to where you hit your head? Right here. Okay. So I do feel a little bump right there. So you definitely hurt your cranial area. Any shortness of breath? No. Okay. Any numbness or tingling sensations anywhere in your body? No. No. Okay. Did you try anything? Cold presses, hot patches, any ibuprofen, over-the-counter medication for the pain? Yes, I've been taking a little bit of ibuprofen. So I'll be more than happy to perform a foot exam and a podiatry assessment today, Thank as you. well as a cranial nerve exam to make sure that there's no cranial nerve damage as a result of the hit that you suffered on your head. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin an assessment. Just a very brief assessment of your knee. Are you able to lift your leg up at all? Okay. Just can, slightly. Can you touch right here? Okay. Can you touch right here? Okay. Almost. I do see a little bit of an inflammation and a redness right here. Okay. Let me try and flex your leg up. Okay, just taking a look at the patella. A little bit of redness right here. Can you feel my touch here? Yes. And here? Yes. Here? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh I'm not seeing any other bruises or indentations. I do feel the inflammation right here. It's a big bump. And I can see a little bit of redness. So let's go ahead and just begin by doing the cranial nerve exam first. And then we'll have you lie down and I will take a look at your um, knee and your leg and your feet in more in depth. All right, let me just check your eyesight and your vision since you bumped your head. Go ahead and look into the distance for me. I'm going to just check for the pupil response. And across in the cup for me. Okay. Just going to take a peek at the base of the eyes. Make sure there's no jaundice. Good. Look down for me. Perfect. So eyesight looks good. I'm going to go ahead and feel your head and palpate and check for any lumps or bumps, indentations on the head. And yeah, I can feel the bump. Let 
Let me go ahead and take a look as well in my light. There was definitely no puncture. I'm not seeing any blood, no redness. That's all good. No other indentations at the base of the neck either or in the back of the head. Good. Okay, let me go ahead and Look at the skin as well, on your neck, your chest, your ears. Looks all right. Raise your eyebrows for me, keep them raised, don't let me lower them. Good. And can you be, give me a big smile, the frown? Good. Puff out your cheeks for me. Keep them puffed. Good. Stick out your tongue. Move it side to side. Perfect. And open your mouth and stick out your tongue. Okay. Right. Good. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of tapping all over your body and check the integrity of your bones. And if you feel any pain, just stop me at any moment. Go ahead and keep your eyes closed. Good. Good. Good reflex on your eyes. Perfect. Good. Open your jaw out for me a little bit and keep it Open. Any pain right there? No. Good reflex. Perfect. Good. Good. Good reflex. Let's check out your knees too. Just keep them loose, no tension in them. Good. Perfect. Go ahead and take a listen at your heart and lungs. Just breathe normally. Any heart palpitations after the accident? No. Good. Okay. Heart is normal. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. You can just breathe normally now. Nice. All vital signs are okay. I'm going to check your balance next, so I want you to just keep your hands parallel. Perfect. And now uh, move them up parallel to your head. Perfect. And now lower one of them and keep the other one raised. Perfect. And now reverse. Perfect. And now lower both of them. Excellent. Now I want you to step down and sit in front of me. I want you to um, mirror me. Perfect. So this is the right foot, the one that was not damaged, right? So full mobility. Now can you do the same with your left arm? Perfect. Can you extend it forward? Can you reach right here? 
Okay, not too much. Okay, can lower it. Now, can you go like this? Perfect, and the other side. Try to touch your knee. Okay, so you do reach down to your knee. Now, can you do the same on the other side? Perfect, you can sit back down. And now, I want to take a look a little bit more closely at the knee. Can you place this leg over your right one? Perfect. And keep it right there. I'm going to try to see if I can hear any crackling. Can I move your leg up? Yes. Perfect. And now lower it. Good. And now can you do the same? Can you raise it and lower it? Raise it and lower. Perfect. So I'm not able to hear any crepitous sounds, which is a very good sign. It means that the meniscus is most likely okay, that there is no complete tear on the rotator cuff. Otherwise, I would have heard a lot of crepitous sounds. Okay. Does that hurt? No. About that? No. And now let's try right on top of the patella. This may be a little bit painful. Any pain there? Just a little. Just a little bit, okay. Going to do some acupressure therapy. Relieve some of this pain. Keep your eyes closed. Do you feel that? Yes. Okay, I want you to tell me when it stops. No. 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 I'm going to do a test that's called sharper doll. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so that's doll. And do you feel that? Yeah. That's sharp. So tell me what you feel. Sharp. 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 Do. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Do. Do. Excellent. 
also going to measure the patella, the kneecap here. down and I will continue with the foot exam. Okay. Just palpating your patella and tibia bone. not feeling any fractures. Checking for edema. Okay. Feeling your popliteal pulse. Okay, good. And the pedal pulse, two plus. Both legs synchronized. Capillary refills are two seconds plus on both legs. Even temperature distribution. The plantar region is a little bit cold. Is that normal for you? Yes. Going to inspect your toes and in between them, checking for any sores, any bruises. The nails look healthy, no signs of clubbing or pinning. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Okay, good. Can you rotate this foot for me? Mm -hmm. And clockwise. Perfect. Okay, can you rotate your left foot as well? Clockwise now. Perfect. Okay, any pain when I do this? No. Any pain here? No. Good. Any pain here? No. Here? Good. No. Okay, so I'm not noting any abnormalities, no bruises, no redness. Okay. Going to go ahead and tap on your bones. And I'll start with the tibia bone and the metatarsal bones. And I'm going to check for any fractures, anything that may be on a more, you know, the level of a fissure. So tibia bones are intact on both of your legs. Let's check the metatarsals. Good. 
So no breakages or fractures on the metatarsals. Let's check the phalanges. Good. No breakages on the phalanges either. Okay, do you feel this? Yes. And this? Yes. Okay, which leg am I touching on? Left or right? Right. Left. Right. Left. Right. Okay. Can you move your big toe? Perfect. And can you move your pinky? Perfect. Big toe on your left foot. Perfect. And pinky. Perfect. So you, you retain full range of motion on your toes and your legs and no broken bones. Let's go ahead and perform a sharp or dull test to check your dermatomes. Is it sharp or dull? Dull. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. Sharp. So the surreal nerves and the saphenous nerves are well innervated and there are no signs of any nerve damage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check some measurements. Checking for how your muscles are reacting. At the same time, good, good, good. So I'm seeing good level of symmetry as of right now in both of your legs. and feet. And there's no level of inflammation that is more pronounced in one of your legs than the other one, which is great news for the blood flow and the circulation in both of your legs. All right, let's go ahead and flip over so I can take a look at the plantar region of your feet. All right, let me go ahead and inspect the calves muscles of your legs in the back. I'm seeing one big scar here. How did this happen? When I was young, my sister, she traced me with a broom that was broken and then yeah, <laughs> cut me. Oh, wow. It's a big scar. Mm. Other than that, I'm not seeing any abnormalities. You have a couple of moles that are very small. Okay. Plantar region looks clean and evenly colored. No scaling of the skin, really well hydrated feet. 
Gonna go ahead and palpate the plantar region. Checking the calcaneus bone. And the fibula in the back. Okay, any pain here? No. I'm gonna pull on your legs. Any pain there? No. Good. Checking the fibula in the back. The bone does not appear broken. <coughs> and palpating the plantar region. Pulling on your leg. Any pain here? No. Okay, flexing it all the way back. Any pain there? No. Okay. And let's flex the other leg as well. Any pain there? No. Good. Okay. I'm going to tap on the fibula bones in the back and the calcaneus region. No pain. And let's check the level of inflammation in your muscles. Good. Good. So I'm seeing a very good symmetry between the muscles in the two legs. Is it sharp or dull? Dull. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Go ahead and do a little bit of point pressure therapy. Especially in the calcaneus region, it really helps. 
to trigger some of the meridians. We can see the skin slightly discolorating while the blood flow is pushed down and then coming back to a pinkish color when the blood comes back. as well, can you use some relief? Go ahead and put a little bit of oil. And perform a massage of the calf muscles. Massaging your tibial nerve. And the plantar region. As well as in each one of your toes.
Oh, I got a little crack there. And the tibial nerve around the calcaneus region. And the fibula bone in the back. A lot of tension is being stored right here. I'm going to touch with a cold object and I want you to see when you stop feeling it. No. No. So no concern whatsoever with any nerve damage or with your dermatomes in your legs and your feet. Right, let's get back up. Okay, Katharina, this concludes the foot, leg and knee assessment. Good news is that I was not able to notice any nerve damage. Uh, your cranial nerves are intact, so we're not looking for anything neurologically out of the ordinary uh, here. You're perfectly healthy. It's just um, muscle pain that can be relieved with just a couple of days of rest and a couple of hot, cold patches and some ibuprofen. Very good. How Thank do you, you feel? I feel so much better, actually. The massage is great. Great. Are you able to stretch your foot out a little better now? Perfect. Okay, and any pain when you do that? No. No, good. So I hope I was able to help you, and if you don't get better in a week, come back and see me. Definitely. Thank you. You're welcome.